below and one on all. And guess what day it is? Friday the 13th. Happy Friday the 13th, everyone. Um, so, um, as it is Friday the 13th day, I thought, why not continue my Halloween series? Hope you guys enjoy my series so far. I certainly am. It's one of my favourite things to do on the channel. And I hope to continue doing it for as long as possible. This time we're going to review a Friday the 13th film. As it's the appropriate time to do it on Friday the 13th day. It's the first one. It's one of the sequels. And that is Friday the 13th part 6. Jason Lives. Now, bear in mind, guys. Um, Jason Lives is a, a film that I've been interested in watching myself because I have heard people saying oh this is the like the best sequel or the best film in the series and yet even I've come to watch the Friday the 13th movies myself and yet with every first film in a horror franchise you tend to like them Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street and many other ones as well all their first films are great. The first Friday the 13th, on the other hand, I kind of don't really see it, to be honest with you. And I don't hate the first film. I think it's all right. I mean, spoilers. Um, Jason Voorhees actually isn't in it. He doesn't appear until like the second or third one. But hey, don't consider myself to be a fan. So I've seen the first five, um, Freddy vs. Jason and the remake. That's just to give you history. And I watched the ref Sifton along with Jason X as well. But Jason Lives is where I've got to when I'm just like, yeah, couldn't all the movies in this series be like this? Now, I, bearing in mind, I am aware that this movie isn't great. You know, there are things that I have fun time with. And there are also things on the other hand. Not so much. So here we go. Uh, you open up uh, the film with um, two guys, um, including um, Tommy Jarvis, who's sort of the main uh, human character in this movie. Um, you know, basically um, going around this graveyard, you know, it says Jason Voorhees. And then you get to see Lightning. You know, it's all mad and then here comes Jason Voorhees a similar scene to um, uh, Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom where Maul Ron takes the guy's heart out here we get that here Jason Voorhees takes one of the guy's heart out and there you go and yet Jason Voorhees um, isn't like a, your particular human um psychopath you know he pretty much is a big strong um creature i mean he's not a human even though it says jason Voorhees, he's technically a zombie but only he's mighty and huge and no one can fight him but find a way to stop him but after whenever he takes the guy's heart out you then get a James Bond spoof gun barrel scene. Not necessarily a gun barrel scene, but technically it is technically a spoof. You see um, the camera zoom in into the eye and you see Jason Boys throw the knife. Blood comes down and we get Jason Lives Friday the 13th part 6. Now, what Friday the 13th part 6 Jason Lives has to offer is easily the best kills of the franchise you know because as i said uh in the intro a guy's heart gets taken out and there's also a moment where jason Voorhees is sort of creeping up in this guy sort of in the woods and kills the guy and the arm comes off so there you go and let's get into the bad stuff because i am aware that friday the third isn't one of the best horror series, I'm afraid. At least in my view, anyway. Um, 
Jason Voorhees is like really the only character you seem to be on the side for when it comes to these movies. And yet the human characters I really could give a shit about even um Tommy because I just didn't find him very compelling, if you want to put it that way. You know, he basically is just um trying to be um the next uh, Laurie Strode from Halloween or Nan see well not really Nan see but Laurie Strode is really sort of the female badass of all horror, should you say? But I don't know if there's a male badass other than um, Ash from Evil Dead, but whatever. Um, but no, it's just there's a whole bunch of kids in this movie. I mean, I mean, I know you get that in some horror movies now these days, but if I was making a horror movie, why would I want to get a kid involved, you know? Should they be accompanied by an adult if they're going to be part of something that's going to be a more mature thing, you know? But you do, of course, um, get this boat scene uh, where Tommy is captured by Jason Voorhees and then, of course, he does survive eventually without having to drown. And then you do underwater see um, Jason Voorhees and then looks like he's going to come back. So overall, guys, um, Jason Lives is like the only fu the only Friday the Thirteenth film that I'm possibly going to talk about on my channel, unless if I find anything else that's self aware in the franchise. That's another thing I forgot to mention. This film is so self aware, you know, you know it doesn't want to take it seriously. It just wants to have fun. You know, and that's what I think Friday the 13th should get more often. Which probably will not happen again, I'm afraid. But all in all, guys, this is easily my favourite film in the series. I know that it's not great, but it's definitely a guilty pleasure of mine. So, there you go, guys. That was my review on Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Lives. Comment down below, let me know what... You guys thought of um, Jason Lee. It was or also what's your favorite um, Friday the Thirteenth film or least favorite one in the series? Let me know below in the comments. Let's have a great discussion down there. And as always, if you're new to my channel, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, share this video, and notify that bell before you leave. And as always, until my next video, I shall see you then, and peace. Oh,